Let's discuss replacing the VGT control solenoid on this Ford 6 liter power stroke engine. Now this controls the variable geometry turbo here. And there's a couple different ways in which this could fail. It could be electronically or it could have restricted oil passages in here. And so we're going to replace this. Our new solenoid comes with a new bracket as well as a new hold down bolt. But while we're in there we want to make sure that there's no oil contamination or additional problems. So first things first, you can see I've removed the charge air cooler tube here. Not really necessary, but it just makes it a lot easier to see what I'm doing. So I've removed it. Now we're going to remove the clip here and disconnect the wire. We'll set that aside. Now there's actually just one bolt holding this bracket in place. And so I'm taking a 5 16 12 point socket and I've connected it to my extension and we will loosen that up and I'm going to remove the bracket and the bolt together. Now again, our new kit comes with a new bolt as well as a new bracket, but we need to be careful not to drop this down in the engine or, or by the turbo here. So we'll get that out of the way, set it off to the side. Now I'm gonna take a shop rag and put that down below just in case any oil might run out when I pull the solenoid out. I'm gonna grab a hold of the solenoid work it back and forth to free it up, and then gently work it back and forth to remove it here. And now, again, we will inspect the old one here, and you see it's, it's really pretty clean. This oil has been pretty well maintained on this truck, so there's not a whole lot of contamination here. You can see a little bit of buildup on the end, but that's not too terrible. So, we're gonna take our new control solenoid, I'm gonna grab a little bit of oil out of the passageway here, and I'm going to lubricate the O-rings on my new unit with some of this engine oil. You might even want to grab some fresh engine oil, but just make sure that all these O-rings are lubricated, and then we will slide this control solenoid into the turbo. And we'll give it a little extra push, make sure it clips into place there, get all the O-rings seated the way that they should be. Then we'll take our new bracket and slide that over the solenoid here. Now we can see how this will line up. I'm going to have to rotate the solenoid a little bit. And I'm going to take my new bolt with my socket and we'll install it into place here. Now we'll run this in by hand grab a ratchet and gently draw it in. Make sure it's installed properly. Get it good and tight. Hook up our electrical connector and we've just gone ahead and replaced our VGT solenoid. It's that simple. No relearns really required here. If any trouble codes have been set by the faulty unit previously, it's a good idea to go in and clear any trouble codes but on this truck, I just have to install my air tubing here again, and the truck's ready to start, ready to run.